This is an older poodle that I'm grooming today. She comes in pretty often. Um, she just needs a lot of gentle care because she's very old, has arthritis, and can't move the same that she used to. I get her on the table and I start with clean feet and clean face, just cleaning that up, and then I shave down her body. I think I used a seven blade. She has some mats and stuff, so it's just easier to go down a little bit shorter with her so she doesn't have to get groomed as often. After I have her shaved down, I give her a bath, and then after the bath, I dry her, and then I will do all of my finishing touches, like the scissoring work and just going over her body again with the seven blade. And then I give her a bandana, and I spray it with some perfume, and she's all done. She looks super cute. <laughs> Hey guys, today I'm doing a lion cut on this beautiful cat. I start off with my prep work, which is trimming the nails so that way they have nothing to attack me with. I shave out the paw pads and then I shave around the butt. I just make that area a little bit shorter so it's a little bit cleaner for the owners. For lion cuts, I normally just go down them with a 10 blade everywhere, just leaving them their mane, their boots, and a little fluff ball for the tail. So this is what she's looking like. I let her smell the clippers just so she like knows what's going on, knows what I'm doing. Um, once I have the main kind of the shape made out, I just go in with my thinning shears and just kind of smooth everything out. And this is what she looks like when she's done. Has a cute little bow. Yeah, that's it. Everyone, please remember that if you get a doodle, it is also part poodle. They are high maintenance dogs. They need to get groomed every six to eight weeks. They need to be brushed to avoid getting mats. And when you bring them in after six months of not getting groomed and you don't brush them and they're covered in mats, do not get mad at me when I have to shave your dog. Doodles are poodles. But anyways, this dog wasn't super matted. There are a few small ones. I was able to brush them out. Overall, I think she turned out super cute. The owner brings her in pretty regularly, so she's always in pretty good shape. I was absolutely obsessed with this dog's fur coat. I loved just like certain dogs, you love their hair. But this dog, unfortunately, was covered in mats. The owners did not understand why I had to shave their dog all the way down. But the hair was like literally coming off in one piece. You see? So shave them all the way down. But I was able to save the face. This is literally a different dog. I, oh my gosh. <laughs> I definitely messed up when editing this. I am so sorry. This is called pododermatitis, by the way. An allergy to the feet. Uh, here's the first dog again. <laughs> this is all finished. I was able to save the face, make him look. Here's my groom for today. I wanted to show you guys my new scrubs from Shop Dolan. They're like my absolute favorite pair of scrubs. So comfy. So like thin and weightless. Anyways, I'm super obsessed with them. I'll have them linked down below if you guys are interested. Um, I'm just doing a normal groom on this dog. Ear plucking, doing all my prep work. And then I go ahead and I shave down. I think I used a five blade. And then I do the bath. After the bath, I do all the scissoring work. She would not let me cut her lip hairs for the life of her. But she's all finished. This is kind of just a more in-depth version of my last video I just posted, just kind of showing how I dyed the dog. I wanted to do a mixture of pink and red for the mohawk, so I put them on this paper towel, and then I literally have a toothbrush and a Q-tip to apply them. I wanted paintbrushes, but I, this was very last minute. So I just took the Q-tip, and I started kind of drawing out the heart, and then I realized I probably should have sketched out the heart with clippers and made that area shorter, but that did not come across my mind until later and it ended up looking cute so i think it's fine this is what it looks like with the dye on and then i went on to her mohawk and the toothbrush actually like did a great job i think it worked really well i did the red color more in the front and then i had it kind of fade to the pink in the back but you couldn't really tell like the colors were too similar Originally, I wanted to do a mohawk down her whole body, but I made it crooked, so I had to, you know, scrap that plan. She did shake her head and get it all over her ears, so I kind of just, you know, embraced it this time and did little pink streaks in her ears because I don't know how to keep her from shaking her head. Then I left her in the cage for a bit, which was pretty scary because I thought maybe she was going to scratch herself or rub it the wrong way, but she didn't, and it came out super bright. I was super happy with it. The ears look a little eh, but the heart looks great. Guys, February is over and I totally forgot to show you guys my Valentine's Day groom. This is Rosie. She comes in and the owners let me do kind of whatever I want to her. She normally gets a colorful mohawk and I suck at dying dogs, so it's always a huge mess. I'm just doing everything like I normally do. I think I shave her down with a five blade, but I wanted to do a little heart on her butt, so I attempted that. 
And you guys keep telling me to stop applying the dye with my fingers, so I'm using a toothbrush here. And she did shake her head and get it all over her ears, so I just embraced it and put some little streaks in her ears. Anyways, I washed it off, and I think it turned out pretty decent. Like, the mohawk looks good. I made it, like, point in the back, and then I think the heart looks super cute, so I might do stuff like the heart more often. I'm posting a more in-depth video later.